I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most vigorous fault. Therefore, I have blessed the Lord and the Lord all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and strive after all that does its honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, 
Moses was keeping the flock of his father in law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. And he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here am I. Then he said, Do not come near. Put off your shoes from your feet. For the place in which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, Now, behold, the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me, and I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt. He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you. When you have brought forth the people out of Egypt, you will serve God upon this mountain. The word of the Lord The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me is holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. It is the Lord who forgives all your sins, who is every one of your ills. Who redeems your life from the grave? Who crowns you with mercy and compassion? The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord does justice. Gives full justice to all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have given these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. 
All things have been delivered to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Among the many beautiful hymns that we sing in the church is one that says, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The first reading of today shows us that indeed this is true. The bush was burning, but it was not consumed. This was uncommon and strange, and this attracted the attention of Moses, who came closer to have a closer examination of this strange phenomenon. This burning bush, my dear friends in Christ, can be likened to the relationship of God with his children. Or we can say is a symbolic representation of Christians. The bush was burning, but it was not consumed. The people of Israel, they were in serious trouble. They cried to God. For help. For many years, the help that they seek seems distant away as they were subjected to slavery and they had to build a whole city for the people of Egypt. But just as the bush was burning and was not consumed, even though the children of Israel were in serious trouble, they were in pain. But this trouble that they were inside, did not consume them. The trouble did not destroy them as a people. As Christians, therefore, sometimes we go through difficulties in our life and we pray to God. We ask God for assistance. Many times, many of us give up on God because it seems God has forgotten us. Our prayers are not being answered. This lesson from the first reading of today tells us that God never forsakes his children. All we have to do is to hold on to God in faith. For when the time comes and God decides to act, nothing will hold back our deliverance. Why is this so? Because from the burning bush, the Lord spoke. So as the bush was burning and was not consumed, the Lord was inside. So as you pass through your difficult times, it will not destroy you because even though it seems you don't feel the presence of God, God is with you. And when his time comes, he will bring you out of the trouble. We see this play out clearly in the life of Moses. After Moses had committed murder and he ran away from Egypt, he became a fugitive. And the reading tells us that he was taken the floor of his father in law which means he could not even boast of his own flock. He was tending the one of his father-in-law. So he became a humble fugitive. But when the Lord, when the time came, the Lord did not forget that he has raised somebody like Moses to deliver his people. When the time came, the Lord remembered Moses and he called out for Moses to commission him for the mission for which he has called him. So the Lord will never forsake us. Another lesson we can take from the first reading is that when the Lord called Moses, he asked Moses to take off his shoes. When you put on shoes and you go out, what is associated with your shoe is death. Your shoe will carry death as you move about. That's why when you want to enter your room, you dust your feet so that you don't take death inside the room. What that is teaching us is that when we want to approach God, we must approach God with in heart. And that is what Jesus is talking about in the Gospel reading of today. 
We remember that God told them of yesterday, Jesus condemned three times for their lack of faith and hardness of heart. The reason for which Jesus condemned those times is what he gave thanks to God for today. The simple of heart hear the message of God and they accepted it. But those who were wise in their own judgment, they want to subject the miracles that Jesus do and the message that he preached. Even though they know that these things can only be done by the power of God, yet they were criticizing him. For those who were simple of heart, they accepted the message because they knew that this could not have come from a very human being. Only God the power to do this. So, also Jesus is telling us, just as he told Moses, take off your shoe in the first reading of today, he's telling us we must approach him with simple heart, with open heart, with readiness to accept his message. And when we do this and we hold on to him in faith, even though we pass through challenges in our life, even though it seems that God has forgotten us, when the time for our deliverance comes, God will surely come to our aid and bring us out of our trouble. As we reflect on the word of God, we pray that the Lord will bless his ways in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Passion. He took bread and giving thanks, 
Brookie can give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and talents of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Augustine, and Pubese, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we then to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give all this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King and the power and glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. Lamb of God, he is the very sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, he is the very sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, he is the very sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter my room. The Holy Spirit of God and my soul shall be healed. Prayer before we come in, prayer for him. O oh God, help me to make people familiar. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My dear and dear Diana, lead me to the altar of God. Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, it is now and ever shall be world without end. Once the grace of Jesus, Amen. My place out of Mary. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Prayer for dear of Saint Joseph. So you, O oh blessed Joseph, you are recalled in our tribulation, and we are imploring the aid of the most holy Father. We humbly beseech you, to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased and to help us in our necessities by your powerful intercession. So that in the day of the 
The seven effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Amen. Go forth. The mass is ended. Thank you, Lord.